Hi, Ezra here with a piece of truth for you. So, did you ever had a situation where you agree something with someone or you have a relationship with someone and after a while the other person come to you with a lot of complaints and things like you think did we ever lived in the same house together or did we have we been in the same meeting what are you talking about you just inventing total nonsense it did not happen this is not what we agreed this is not what happened well if you had that such a, such a situation you need to understand what happened because if you'll understand what happened you'll be able to help that person and yourself so here is the law when someone blame you they blame you only because of what they have what they have done or what they are hiding no other reasons if someone blame you, they blame you because of what they have done or because what they are hiding. And what blame is, is basically they pointing finger at you and they say, God will help me to explain how you are to blame at what I've done three fingers towards me. And God is very busy, so he's not answering them. So when he's not answering them, uh, because everyone doing that, so... God decided I'm going to ignore those uh, requests and because God do not answer they start to invent the most amazing unbelievable lies or fantasies or things that just didn't happen and you sit there and you think wow that's not true but nothing in the world will convince them that it's actually not true because for them it is super true. What do I mean it's super true for them? They invented them by themselves. And what you invent yourself is super true for you. So the only reason they've done the complaining is because they've done something against you. Now, how do you get out of this situation? You don't argue about the material that we are arguing about. If, let's say, you, if a person uh, argue with you about uh, oh, you should have built that wall and he didn't build the wall or and he tell you, well, you know, you asked to change the wall and you say, no, I didn't ask to change the wall. Here is the plan. It's not important. The facts are not important. Because in his mind, you've changed your mind. He invented something that for him is very true. The only thing you can do in such a situation is gently ask him, okay, don't argue about the thing that they are actually arguing with you about but getting on a gradient scale to look at what you have done, what did you do that you consider that is not okay. And he will start saying, no, nothing, blah, blah, blah. What are you talking about? You are the bad guy here. And you say, okay, no problem. So what are you hiding? And you do that again and again, and you ask him, what did you do? What you hide in a gentle way, in all kinds of ways. And he will come out with, he will come out with something that even if you will not admit, his attitude will change. Now, this you need to try. Now, what happens is when you complain about other people, when you find with other faults with other people, the same mechanism apply. You've done something or you're hiding something in regard to this person or that event, and because of that, you become critical. Because of that, you find faults. Because of that, you are not as happy with the other person. And what you need to do is to ask yourself, what are you hiding or what did you do for, to that person or someone similar to him? And you will discover that the moment that you will spot how you caused the problem, you will gain the ability to handle the problem. Because for as long as you blame the other side, you say, you give him all the possession in the world. You make him the boss. If I blame you, if I say, it's your fault, you've done it, it's you, you're the boss. I'm the effect. You're the cause. I'm the effect. So if you want to improve your life, number one, you need to realize that anything that happened to you, you caused. You know, you can have an accident and yes, you had an accident, for sure. And someone ran into you. But the truth is that you put yourself there. The truth is that it is you. The indication 
that uh, you did something that you're hiding is that you find fault with that person. And believe me, those faults will be so justifiable. They will be so logical to you, but only to you. That's why you work so hard to go to other people and convince them, look, look, look what, he, what he did to me, look what he did to me. Because you need the support of other people because internally you know it is you. And you cheated yourself and now you're trying to cheat other people. So if you want to improve your life, you need to stop blaming other people. Because that's the only way that you will ever become cause. That's the only way that you will ever become it, that you will ever start to control what's happening in your life. And the magic is, the moment that you admit it is you, anything that you will want will happen. Anything that you will want to have, you will have. And the only reason you are limited with what you have, what limit, how much money you have, how much love you have, how much happiness you have, what control, how much of bad things you have also, how much stress, how much anxiety, how much worry is this? The percentage of things that you admit totally, it is you. Change that ratio and you change your life. And you will see that once you will try it, once you will apply it, people will look at you and will think that you are a magician or that you are very lucky. But me and you know that you just understand and knowledge, knowledge alone, bring about total control, good control, and a lot of money too. Mirezra, a piece of truth for you. Bye-bye.